what 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 is up you guys welcome back to my channel now i am super stoked for today's video because we are looking at one of the newest monsters in the game the beast riders so i am on my uh beginner account which you can check out the beginner series on my channel uh, which if you don't want to miss make sure you like subscribe comment let me know you want to see more in that beginner series but today we are looking at the wind beast rider savannah now we've uh, we've awakened savannah and we're going to actually take her to six star a little bit later today but i wanted to show you how we plan to ruin her and really how you should actually ruin your savannah if you've got one and you're looking to progress in the game now in terms of her uses i think that's where we should start um i think that she's going to be best for the dungeon, the arena, guild wars, you know, PVP content, uh, but she is going to have some niche use in PVE, uh, I think, in the dungeon. That's where we're going to try and get some usage out of her. Now, in order to know what runes to put on her, first thing we do is look at her skills. So she's, she's an attack monster with great base speed. Um, and so we definitely want to get some runes on her for speed and attack. And the second thing I do is I look at her skill. So I cannot wait to scale her up. Um, that's going to be really, really great. But first things first is that all of her attacks are essentially attack speed based. So her first one attacks the enemy to decrease their speed for two turns with a 30% chance. And the faster your attack speed compared to the enemies, the greater your damage. So the faster you are compared to your enemy, the more damage you're going to do. So it's key that she is quick, 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 quick. Um, second skill again the faster your attack speed the greater the damage becomes so this attacks the enemy two times and the beast attacks changes all the beneficial effects to continuous damage for one turn okay so when you're on the beast when you're riding the beast because when you get hit you fall off the beast but you do continuous damage for every beneficial effect that they have and it removes the beneficial effects so she is actually like a single target stripper who also replaces those uh, beneficial effect effects with continuous damage so very very useful skill and then the last skill is it increases all of your attack speed for two turns and weakens all of the defenses of the enemies for two turns uh, if the enemy's defense is lower than your attack power it also sets the enemy attack power to zero if their attack speed is slower than you. So I know that's a mouthful. This is basically a long-winded way of saying that um, if the enemy's defense is lower than your attack power, meaning this attack is lower than or higher than their defense, it's going to lower their defense. It's going to put on the negative effect. And then if the attack speed is slower than you it takes the attack bar down to zero so again lots and lots of reasons to have really high attack and then you've got this passive which is if you die you essentially dismount from the beast and become just the beast rider who again has all attack based skills so i'll let you read through those um but when you dismount the beach your your max hp is decreased by 50 percent and your attack speed by 15 percent uh but the inflicted damage you do on the enemy increases by 100. So basically, you're stronger but weaker when you're not on the beast, but you're also a single target hit, whereas when you're on the beast, you've got this defense break, AOE, attack base skill. So how do we ruin them? Well, we're early game on this account, so we're going to do Swift uh, Blade. But if we weren't on a new account, we would totally go Violent Will to use her inside of the arena. But I'm going to show you. Let's just do a little build here and see what we can make of her so i'm gonna look for a speed rune in the first slot and i'm hoping i have a blade here and i do but i don't love this rune to be honest i may well if i'm gonna steal one it would be from bernard but that's only a four star so i'm gonna put this one in here temporarily and I'm going to go speed attack attack because I really want to get that attack power up. Remember, the speed and the attack power make a huge difference to her skills. So let's see what attack. And let's look at quit. Rune 
things as well. So I'm definitely going to put this blade in here because it's got some crit damage on it. And I'm definitely going to put this... Hmm, what rune do I want to put here? Maybe I want to do that. And then I want to do swift speed. We'll steal from Bernard because I'm actually going to replace Bernard. So she's going to be a little slower than I'd like. And frankly, a little slower than she should be if you're end game. But this is on my level 48 account. So um, I'm just walking you through the mechanics of how to rune her. And then for these other two, we're going to go all the swift runes. And we're looking for swift runes with crit rate, crit damage, attack, um, and accuracy. We want her to have some accuracy so that she actually lands these, these buffs. So for right now, I think I'm going to steal this from Bernard. or from Spectra, I should say. And I'll rerune my Spectra later. It's free rune removal day, so I'm just playing around with some stuff here. And I don't love these stats. She's fast, but she could be faster. Let's power up this attack rune and see what kind of results we can get here. So again, just to walk you through, I would do Swift, Blade, Speed, Attack, Attack. If you're more advanced game, you might want to go Violent, Will, Speed, Crit Damage, Attack, but you need to have the really good substats to support that because, again, the higher her attack is, the more effective that uh, third skill is going to be, and the higher her attack speed is, the more effective everything's going to be. Plus, she's an attack monster, so if we can get that crit rate and crit damage up, that's only going to benefit us. So let's see if we can get this rune up to par. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take her into the dungeon and run her and see what kind of results we get. Um, I do want to double check that skill because I know we need to get some, I know we need to get some, uh, a little bit more attack and speed to be able to take that attack bar down to zero, which I think is going to be a huge benefit when we get into the dungeon. So I'm going to take that one to plus nine for right now. See what that does to our attack. It takes it to just about 1,100. I'd really like to see this attack up to like much higher. <laughs> um, but when we take her to max four star, her base attack is going to go up to 801, which is going to make a huge difference. Um, but let's look at this other one. It's a weak quick rune, but it does have crit damage. So... For right now, we're going to use it. Actually, what other swift runes do we have? It's got crit damage, HP, and speed. Let's use that one. It's going to boost everything up. So her accuracy is a little low. I'd really like that accuracy to be like a lot higher, honestly, like 45, 50, if not 60. Um, but again, we're working on a beginner account. So let's just showcase what she can do here. I'm going to take her into the dungeon, B10. I'm going to replace my Bernard with her. Now, I won't have an attack break monster, but frankly, I've got my monsters, including her, up to decent HP. She's a little low, but she's got that secondary skill where she's going to survive, and I'm mostly relying on her to get through the trash waves, which are the first three waves of the, the game, or of the dungeon. So let's see what happens if we run this with Savannah. And we're just playing around. I just want to showcase how she plays, show you how I would rune her. Obviously, she could stand to be much stronger, but you can see that defense break was great. We landed on most of them, and it took their attack bar to zero because we got that attack power higher than the monsters. So that's going to be really useful for clearing the waves. Once we skill her up, she'll be able to use that skill more frequently, which is going to be really beneficial as well. And... Uh, because she has an elemental advantage, I'm not as concerned about her HP, but it could definitely be better. Like straight up, I would love to see it closer to like 14 or 15. And again, it's got that attack bar reduction, which is just making a huge difference on these, these levels. And uh, she's actually taking the least damage, which I'm kind of surprised by, but I'm not going to complain. 
So I just want to see how she plays out in the dungeon. So if you have her and you're looking to create a more stable dungeon team, you could replace Bernard with her. She doesn't necessarily appear to speed it up too much, um, but that might all change when we get to the end game or the end level. What I will say is that it's letting them get off less turns. So if you have a team where you feel like your units are, are taking too much damage or you've got a team where you feel like, oh my gosh, I cannot get through these first waves and you're still early in the game and you're lucky enough to pull her, um, she could be a really powerful asset to making your dungeon team more stable. Now, I won't sit here and say that she is destined for a dungeon or that she is a dungeon monster, uh, but I just wanted to showcase if you're an early player where you could use her. She's definitely a PvP monster. She's going to continue to be a PvP monster, and uh, that's where you're going to see the most use out of her, which, again, you're going to want those violent will runes, so she just continues to go and breaks that defense and lowers the attack bar. So it's interesting, even though she's not speeding up our team dramatically, I'm also thinking that she's kind of got this element of, like, replacing uh, Hua on our team. Uh, if you've ever used the fire, I don't even know what it is. The the girl who holds the whip, the Rakisha. I'm going to say it wrong. That's okay. <laughs> you can replace Hua with her because she's got that attack bar reducer third skill. Um, she doesn't use it every time, but it does stop him from getting off too many turns, which is kind of nice. So let's see what kind of speed we had on this with her in there. Again, this is just a way that you can use her in the dungeons. Great for early game stability. Uh, puts us at 220, so not an amazingly fast team, but not an amazingly slow team. And uh, that's what you can do with her. So just to recap, this monster, she is legit. She's great. She's going to be even better when we get her to six star. Uh, those runes we want on Swift Blade if you're in the early game. You want it on Violent Will if you're in the end game. You absolutely want a speed rune. You want an attack rune and an attack rune if you're early on. You're probably going to want crit damage and attack if you're later in the game. Super important that you get those attack stats high uh, because you, there's benefits to high attack, which includes that attack bar reduction. And you want that speed high because when she's going first, she just has all kinds of increased benefits. So she needs to be fast, she needs to hit hard, and she needs to have good crit rate and crit damage. And then HP and defense are kind of tertiary. Um, but you need to consider them if you want to balance out this monster completely. So that is a look at the Wind Beast Rider, Savannah. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment below, and let me know what other content you would like to see. Uh, I'm going to continue using this beginner account to get additional monsters, and uh, from there, we're just going to see what happens. So next monster we get, we'll do a review. And uh, if you want something specific, let me know. Until next time, keep gaming bananas.